three, testing. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three, testing. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing.
Testing, testing, testing. Did some, if somebody has parked a blue Honda van right outside over here, you cannot be parked right there. Please meet our AD Sasha, um, Sasha out there and she can help you. A blue Honda van. Anybody? No movement. All right, welcome, welcome. The National Christian College Athletics Association is committed to the true spirit of competition and upholding the four core values of the game plan for life, love, integrity, faith, and excellence. We ask that each participant, official, and spectator join us in this exhibiting these Christ-like characteristics and help create a positive environment in which to enjoy today's competition. Please stand and join as Jonathan Crutcher leads us in prayer. I want you to bow your heads. Dear God, I want to thank you for this time. I want to thank you for the people that are here. I ask that you bless this game and no one gets hurt. And thank you for letting everybody make it here safe. And we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Please remain standing. Gentlemen, please remove your hats as Hillary leads us in the singing of our national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket regular the bomb bursting As we, as we name off Kuiper starting five. At forward, he's a freshman, Carlos DeVell. At guard, number two, Zach Leach. At forward, number 11, Cody Boozy Jr. At forward, number 12, Justin Baker. And at forward, number 34, Kyle Hope. Kuiper College is coached by Stan Jeske, assistant coach Brandon Klump. Now, Great Lakes, put your hands together and stand on your feet for your Great Lakes Christian College Crusaders. At center, he's a junior, number 21, Jimmy Harvey. At forward, he's a freshman, number 22, Sean Gordon. At forward, 
He's, in, he's not number 23, sophomore, Vidal Jackson. At forward, he's a sophomore, number 25, Tommy Bentley. And at sophomore, he's a forward, number 30, David Park. Foul on 23 White, his first, team first. points for Jimmy Harvey. Two points for Tommy Bentley. Two points for number 34, Kyle Holt, whatever his name is. Two points for Tommy Bentley. Ooh, two points for number 34, Kyle Holt. Foul on number 11, Black, his first team, team first.
First free throw, good. Swish. Two points for Kyle Hope. Two points for Tommy Bentley. Foul on two, Black. His first, team second. And one. Two points for Sean Carton. Two points for number one, Carlos Dabell. Three points for number 11, Kobe Busse. Two points for number one, Carlos Davao. Thirty second timeout, Great Lakes Christian College.
three points for number 22, Sean Gorton. Points for Sean Gordon. Two points for 34, Kyle Hope. Two points for Tommy Bentley. Three points for number two, Zach Leach. Two points for Dana Thomas.
Two points for Dana Thomas. Two points for Kyle Hope. Two points for Dana Thomas. Foul on 42 White, his second, team third. Foul on 21 White, his first, team fourth. Two points for number two, Zach Leach. Foul on 44 White, his first, team fifth. Foul on 10 White, his first, team six. First one's good. Foul on Black, 15. His first, team third. Is 
got three. Two points for Sean Wutlich. Three points for Kyle Holt. Two points for Sean Rutledge. Here we go. Two points for Kyle Holt. For who? Two points for Vidal Jackson. Two points for Vidal Jackson. Let's do this. Two points for two points for number fifteen, Austin Garnot. Foul on black two, his second, team four. Three points for Jackson. Two points for Sean Corton.
for a timeout, Kuiper College. Three points for number two, Zach Leach. Three points for number... Two points for Jimmy Harvey Jimbo. Two points for Sean Rutledge. Two points for Jimmy Harvey.
Two points for Vidal. He's a Jackson. Two points for number 32, Kevin. This is the best half Same. we've played all season. It's not close. This is the best half we've played all season. Shot clock's dead. Can we hang 50 on Kuiper in the first half? Oh my gosh. This is a day two regional team. This is a team that we could play on day two of regionals. What? Stop the clock, stop the clock, stop the clock, stop that clock. Foul on black, 12. His That's first. kind of annoying. The I thought putting eight on. Yeah, it, there should be more time on the clock. There should be more time on the clock. I don't know if they're going to let you switch it. Okay. Yeah! Two points for Tommy Bentley. And we've reached halftime. We are back on the air just in time for halftime, apparently. I don't know if you heard our, the screaming and yelling, but Great Lakes just played the best half of the played all season. And we go into halftime up 50 to 39 on the Kuiper Cougars. We're going to take a break. Wow, that was some half. We will be right back with the second half. Don't go away. This is the Great Lakes Christian College Television Network.
to, to start the half, both teams will start with the same starters. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Doty Center for the second half. Great Lakes Christian College taking on Kuiper College in the season finale. We apologize for any difficulties with the audio in the first half. We got those taken care of and we're ready to roll. As the second half gets underway, the Lakes leading this one 50 to 39. All right, Rev, what did Great Lakes do in the first half that enabled them to open up a double digit lead here? They were able to shoot the ball really well and that was very important. And if they can keep that up in the second half, which Tommy two points for Tommy shot, Bentley, that'll be huge and maintain this lead. Because right now, money. when you play with a lead, you just have to keep scoring and play good enough defense, and really not let Kuiper go on any runs. Bentley's got 13. This is Duvall. Kicks it out. Throws it away. Great Lakes basketball. The Lakes off to a really, really good start right now. Leading in this one, 52 to 39. Parks David. pulls for three. No good off the back rim. Long rebound, Harvey tips it out to Jackson. Long ball across is tipped and picked off. Coming the other way now is Kobe Bussey. Gives it to Zach Leach, who had a busy first half. Leach drives it down low. Hoke fouls, fall, or is fouled falling away, and he'll go to the free throw line. Foul on 25 two. White, his first. And Team and first. Honestly, you don't mind that foul there. Why give him the N1? Nope. Tommy Bentley doesn't give him the N1. Makes a solid foul call. Hope. And it's only his first foul. To, yeah. Not able to get the ball up because of the foul, and he's getting two at the line, and he misses. It's a miss. Kyle Hoke, again, he shoots about 86% from the free throw line coming into this game. One of the things that I've learned, I've watched Kyle Hoke for the last two years, one of the best players we've had in our region in a long time. <laughs> Kyle Hoke. When his team is losing, gets easily, easily right out, tries to do too much, tries to do things that he may not be capable of doing. And right now, he can't be happy with their performance. Bentley hands off to Colton, almost loses it. He's able to save it. Long ball across the way to Parks. Inside, Harvey, turnaround jumper, two off the back rim, no good. Rebound, Kyle Hoke. Coming the other way now is Bussy. Gives it to Duvall, down low, under pressure from Harvey. Kicks it out to Leach, being defended by Bentley. Leach down low. Duvall spins on Harvey, and he stepped on the line. It'll be Great Lakes ball. And Kuiper won a timeout already. Timeout, Kuiper College, 32nd timeout. And Coach Stanjewski just not happy with how they're playing. They're just not playing well. They're not playing with the intensity. And I mean, you really think about it. Last time Great Lakes played these guys, they beat them 108, 106 to 78. Yep, it wasn't Correction. even close. 106 to 78, and Kuiper kind of came into this game expecting Great Lakes to lay down and fall over. But the difference in this game was Great Lakes has Jimmy Harvey today and Vidal Jackson. Yep. And that makes a world of difference because yep. Carlos Duvall, who had 16 last time, he had 12 points in the first half, has four points so far this game, yep. and he has three turnovers. The most it, important number from that first half is a direct reflection on Jackson and Harvey's presence. The Lakes out-rebounded the Cougars 25-11. to 11. Not only did the Lakes out-rebound an opponent for the first time, or for only the second time after this season, they out-rebounded them by 14. And it's a testament to the fact that Kuiper missed shots, and Great Lakes didn't miss a lot of shots. No, Great Lakes shot about 56% or so from the, uh, from the field in the first. This is Parks, under some pressure, gives it to Harvey down low. Wanted to kick it out to Bentley, but the ball's lost. Coming the other way, Justin Baker gives it to Leach over the timeline. Lakes lead by 12. Leach into the corner, three for Bussey. No good off the back rim, long rebound, tipped out. Loose ball picked up by Hoke. Hoke loses the ball, picked up by Bentley. Long ball ahead to Jackson. Can Jackson track it down? Yes, he can. The layup, no good. The rebound, Two Colton, yes. Sean Colton. Jackson missed the first, but Colton was, there to, they, was able to clean it up, and that's something that we talked about earlier in the season. Great Lakes, instead of turning the ball back over on the turnover, they're able to cash in on the fast break and get two points. Bussy, free throw line, no good off the back rim. And again, the Lakes holding the one shot. Bentley with the board, leading by 14. Bentley. Feeds it up in the air, knocked away, picked up by Kyle Hoke. Feeds it ahead to Duvall. Duvall goes up, uncontested, Two points and scores. One, He's got six. Carlos okay. Lakes up 12, 17 and a quarter to go in the second. The Piercefield Pitt's pretty happy right now. They should be. The Lakes playing some of the best ball they've played all season. Bentley into the corner, all the way out to David Parks in the high post. 
Feeds it inside to Harvey. Harvey pulls up, mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound, Sean Colton, loose ball. Still loose, picked up by Zach Leach. Leach tries to drive in the other direction, and Colton pokes it out from behind, and it goes out over the baseline. It'll stay here with Kuiper, but a great play by Colton. Great play by Sean Colton, not giving up on the play. Kuiper basketball. And catch Zach Leach, don't give up an easy layup. Quick inbound to Duvall, two, knocks two it down. The lakes were not one. set there. Carlos they were not ready for that, and Kuiper caught him off guard and get an easy two. I, I, I mean, how do you plan for that? I mean, Carlos Duvall just caught the ball and kind of shot put it at the rim. He really didn't really grab it. Kuiper in a 2-3 zone. 44. 54-44 is the score. Colton gives it to Parks. Jackson all the way across to Bentley in the high post. Parks in the corner. Three. No good off the front rim. Nobody there to pick up the rebound. Coming the other way now is Justin Baker. 16.20 to go in the second. Baker goes right down Main Street, misses the layup. Hope tries to get the rebound. Loose ball, picks it up, goes up, loses it on the way up. Still under pressure, and he's going to be fouled from behind by Jackson. Foul on 23, White. His second team That'll second. That'll be the second on Jackson. Hoke's first free throw is no good. Hoke looking a little bit frustrated after that miss. He's only three for five on the game from the free throw line. Knocks down the second. It's a non-point game. Jackson inbounds to Colton. This is Sean Rutledge now. Rutledge, Harvey, Colton, Parks, Jackson. This is Parks in the high post. Parks under some pressure from Leach. Loses the ball, picks it back up. Still under pressure, whips it into Harvey. Harvey drives, and there's a whistle. A couple of them, actually. Foul on Black And they will get Justin Baker. So now Harvey will go to the free throw line to shoot two again. He's two for two already in this game. Jimmy Harvey got hit in the eye, it looks like. Jimmy Harvey's going to take his time, breathe, and shoot the free throws. First free throw from Harvey, no good off the front rim. Kevin Singh will check into the game, replacing Justin Baker for Kuiper. Jimmy Harvey getting a second. Jimmy Harvey needs to take his time, shoot the ball, and put it over the rim. So Jimmy Harvey takes a breath. Second free throw is good. It's a make. Ten point game and Great Lakes. A stop right here would be nice for Great Lakes. Lakes up by ten as you ten mentioned. Fifteen and forty to go here in the second. Singh tries to drive, goes up, layup is good. Two points for thirty-two. Singh found the vacated space in the middle there. Rutledge now gives it to Parks. Parks all the way across to Jackson into the corner. Rutledge. Rutledge just going to pick it up. Bounce pass to Parks for three. No Long rebound bounces out to Duvall. He gives it to Singh. Lakes up eight, 15 and 10 to go in the second. Duvall now on the ball. Pulls for three, knocks it down. Three points and just like that, it's a five-point game. And now John Piercefield wants a timeout. Kuiper just went on a 12-3 run. Christian College, 30-second timeout. And so far, Great Lakes has to do a better job of shooting the ball. They're getting open looks. They just start making the shots that they made in the first half. And right now, it's simply what it's been for Great Lakes the last few days. They have to be able to make the shots they can make the shots, they will be okay. They're up five. Got to make shots and play defense, and that's what's important right now for Great Lakes. Uh, he, yeah, he and so, John Pierce will call his timeout, calm people down. Sam Manderson checks into the game, and so does Dana Thomas. So Thomas, Rutledge, Jackson, Colton, Anderson on the floor for Great Lakes. Dana Thomas had a good first half shooting the ball. So now just under 15 to go in the second. Lakes lead this one by five. Thomas inbounds to Rutledge, who's working on Leach. This is going to be an interesting matchup right here as the second half goes along. Rutledge tries to drive. Kick out into the corner. Colton wants three. 
And no good, but there's a foul. It's going the other way. I think they're going to get over the back on Sam Anderson. That'll be his third. Foul on 42, White. His third. Team third. Inbound. This is Bussy. Takes it over the timeline. Gives it to Leach. Leach feeds down low to Hoke, and he's going to be fouled. No, he's going to walk. Dana Thomas stood his ground, didn't leave his feet, and that's why they're going to get him for the travel and instead. That's a, good, that's a good call to Kyle Hope goes to make the spin move. For some reason, forgets to dribble, and he travels. He took, he walked into the whole sofa. It's a great call by the ref. Sam Anderson stepped off of Hoke to help Rutledge deal with Leach, and then Thomas filled in the vacated space and stood his ground. Inside, loose ball. We have a, we have a whistle. It's going to stay down here. Not a foul. Great Lakes basketball. Great Lakes getting second and third opportunities on the offensive glass, not something that they're used to. Eight offensive rebounds in the first half. Thomas, long inbound to Rutledge. Rutledge crosses over into the corner now, 28 to shoot, all the way across to Thomas. Thomas wants three, long off the rim, no good. Hoke with the board, gives it to Leach. Leach over the timeline. This is Singh. Tries to drive, kick out. Bussy goes all the way in, and it's good. Two points for number 11, Kobe Busse. That's eight points for Kobe Bussy Jr., and the lead is cut to three. 13 and 40 to go here in the second. That one's thrown away. Bussy coming the other way. Turnover by Thomas. Bussy goes up, and Thomas fouls him on the way up. So that will send Bussy to the free throw they line. shouldn't. Bussy was not shooting. Bussy was passing Foul the ball. On 10 Never mind. Bussie no, it won't. Should not be awarded two free throws. Team you, he was not shooting. You caught that. Not a shooting foul. It'll stay down here with Kuiper. So Thomas gives away the foul instead of giving away two points. Let's see if that pays off. Singh will inbound from the baseline. Under some pressure into Leach, who loses the ball. Picked off by Rutledge coming the other way. All five on a run for, for the Great Lakes. Rutledge Two feeds it in, and Bentley finishes. Bentley. Great transition offense from Great Lakes. All five men on the run good there. Good defense right there. Good defense leads to good offense, and Great Lakes able to get a good basket, a and great. hopefully by seeing the ball go in the hole, it makes them pick Sing back up. Jimbo Harvey goes Darrell Rivas on that ball, picks it off down low, and we're coming the other way. Sean Rutledge. Jackson, three. Buckets! For Vidal Jackson! Huge basket for Vidal Jackson, and the Lakes are back up by eight. Leach to sing in the high post. Feeds it down low to Hope. Turns around, puts it up. In and out, no good. Rebound, Bussy puts it back up and knocks it down. Two points for number 11, Kobe Pussy. Dana Thomas will inbound. This is Rutledge. Jay Lakes got to get the rebound there. You force Kyle Hope to finally miss a shot, and you've got to get the board. 12 and a half to go here in the second. Lakes up by six. This is Bentley into the corner. Bounce off the foot of Jackson. Picked up by Singh. Singh over the timeline. Feeds it to Leach. Back to Hoke. Goes up no good. That's a foul on Thomas. And that will send Hoke to the free throw line. Foul on 10 wide. His third. Team fifth. So now Hoke will go to the free throw line. He's four for six on the game. First one's good. Sean Colton and Quentin Howard will check into the game, replacing Dana Thomas and Tommy Bentley. Singh leaves the game for Kuiper. So on the floor for Kuiper now, Bussy, Baker, Austin Gernot, who just checked in. Kyle Hoke and Zach Leach. Second free throw rolls out. Rebound Sean Colton. This is Rutledge. 12 and a quarter to go in the second. Lakes up five. Rutledge picks up a screen. Tries to feed it into Harvey. Turnover. Loose ball. And they're going to get the foul on Harvey for tripping up Baker. Foul on 21. White. Harvey just second. got a little piece of him. Team six. And that's all that he needed. That's the sixth foul on Great Lakes in this half. With 12 minutes to go in the second, Lakes need to be a little bit more disciplined there. Leach pulls up long two, knocks it down. Two points for number two. It's a good two. shot from Leach, and the Leach. Lakes are only up three now. Rutledge 
Gives it to Jackson in the high post all the way across to Colton. Back to Jackson, pulls up for three. No good off the front rim. Long rebound out to Hoke, loose ball. Gonna be picked up by Hoke and secured. 11 and 40 to go in the second. Leach over the timeline. Tries to drive, gonna go up, gonna lose the ball. Rebound Harvey, loose ball. It's gonna be picked up by Leach. Leach gonna go to the ground with Harvey and Howard and we'll get a tie up. So Great Lakes will win the jump ball in possession. No, possession Kuiper. Great Lakes got the ball at the beginning of the half. Good catch. Kuiper will maintain possession then. Vidal Jackson checks out. Sam Anderson checks in. Anderson, Colton, Harvey, Howard, and Rutledge on the floor for Great Lakes. Bussy with the inbound. Gets it into Hoke. Back to Bussy in the corner being defended by Rutledge. Now Anderson picks him up. Bussy down low to Hoke. Picked off by Rutledge. Rutledge coming the other way. Goes right around Bussy. Rutledge pulls up. Knocks it down! Three points for Sean Rutledge. What a play by Sean Rutledge. First of all, he's defending a much bigger Kyle Hoke. Steals the ball, goes right around the other guy, Cody or Kobe Bussy, pulls up for three, knocks it down. Austin Granat loses the ball down low, and I think they're gonna get a foul on Jimmy Harvey. Foul That'll be 21. his third, with 11 to go third. in the second. Team seven. And that will put Kuiper in the bonus. Austin Granat will go to the free throw line to shoot one and one. Austin Granat with water there, he lost the ball. Ref didn't see it. First free throw's no good. Rebound Sam Anderson and a whistle. And they're going to get Hope. And Hope wasn't plan. happy about that call. That really was the makeup call. His first. And team second. And for Great Lakes, they, won, they didn't lose two points off of that. He didn't make no. it. How about Sam Anderson getting position on Hope and getting that board? Howard loses the ball. Coming the other way now is Baker being tracked down by Harvey. Baker pulls up a, a little gimpy, but two knocks down the, the layup anyway. Long ball into Colton. Lakes up four. Colton tries to drive, almost loses the ball. Did he carry it? No. They're going to hit Justin Baker, 12. his third. His third. For a Teams. second, it looked like he kind of palmed the basketball. Wasn't sure. So with 10.41 to go, here in the second, the Lakes up by four. They'll get the ball on the baseline here. That's the third foul on Kuiper as a team in this half. Single check into the game, replacing Baker, who's got his third. Yes. Long inbound to Rutledge. Rutledge tries to drive, kicks out. Jackson being defended now, gives it back to Rutledge. Almost loses the ball, but he spins away from Leach. Five on four. Rutledge going to drive, pulls up for two, in and out. Rebound will go out, will go out over the end line off of Jimmy Hart. That's a good look for Sean came out, looked there, shot it out of one, and it just didn't fall. You can't fault him there, and Jimmy Harvey brought him for the rebound, just couldn't hold on to it. Singh in the high post, being defended by Jackson. Singh tries to drive, kicks into the corner, back around to Bussy. Bussy tries to go around Rutledge, Rutledge shuts the door, gives back to Singh, long three, knocks it down. Three points for number 32. Great shot for Kevin Singh, and it's a one point game now with 10 minutes to go in the second. Rutledge gives it to Colton. Tommy Bentley looks to check back into the game for Great Lakes at the next stop. Jackson being defended by Hoke now. Gives it to Rutledge in the high post, 17 to shoot. Lakes being patient on this possession. Rutledge tries to drive, loses the ball on the way up. Hoke, long outlet pass to Bussy. He's going to catch up to it, and Kuiper will take their first lead of the half. Two points for number 11. And Jimmy Harvey calls timeout. And that's just unfortunate right there. Sean Rutledge breaches man, goes to go up, and just loses the ball. Well, the Lakes have gotten a little bit Four sloppy in the last couple of minutes. Good Not kept possession college. well. They've oh, carried the ball loosely. It's just not been their best in terms of uh, ball handling here in the second half. It's a, it's a good mindset right there. Sean Rutledge had a good mindset. He just loses the ball, and there he goes by his man. He's gonna go up and see what he has and just loses it in the air. Nine and 28 to go here in the second. Kuiper lead Great Lakes 64 to 63. Hey. It's been a good one so far. Hey, turn on 
Bentley will inbound. Jackson gives it to Anderson, gets it knocked out of his hands, but recovers it. Back to Sean Colton. Nine and a quarter to go in the second. Lakes down by one. Rutledge puts it on the floor. Working around the perimeter. Gives it to Colton in the high post. Ten to shoot. Colton, eight to shoot. Feeds inside to Jackson. Jackson kick out. Rutledge in the corner. Four to shoot. Tries to drive. Three to shoot. Two inside. Jackson, loose ball and a 35-second call. We'll give Kuiper the ball. Kuiper up one with the ball. Singh. <laughs> Tries to drive around Anderson, throws it down low to Hoke, and oh, he walked. If he doesn't walk, he got that ball stripped out by Tommy Bentley. This is Rutledge now, gives it to Colton in the high post. Puts it on the floor, eight and a half to go here in the second. Anderson feeds inside to Colton who couldn't handle it. Somehow manages to get it back, gives it back to Jackson. This is Colton again, Colton drives, two. Yes, and the Lakes are back in front. Sean Colton. And I don't know what happened there. Great Lakes able to hold on to the ball, and Sean Colton's able to get a good shot out of that. Important basket there for the Lakes. Bussy tries to drive off the glass. No good. Rebound, Anderson. Rutledge, long feet ahead to Colton, who catches it and puts it in. Two points, Sean Colton. Great feed from Rutledge there. Great rebound by Sam Anderson. Great Lakes doing a good job of staying this tight. It starts on defense and getting good shots. Now the Piercefield pit getting pretty loud. Leach down low, that loose ball. Great defense by Anderson and Rutledge. Bentley picks it up, takes it all the way in, misses the layup on the other end. Kevin Singh with the board. You want to get those. Seven and a half to go here in the second. This is Gernot, goes up off the glass. No on Hoke, puts it back up. No good off the, no, he got it. Two points, Kyle. And then got the bounce. Lakes lead this one 70, or excuse me, 67 to 66. Seven and 20 to go here in the second. Rutledge to Colton. Into the corner, this is Bentley. Bentley inside to Anderson, under some pressure now. Manages to keep the ball, feeds it inside to Jackson off the glass. Got it, and one! On it's a good basket right there. Austin Gernot with the foul of Adele Jackson to go to the line for the three-point play. Well, now how about this? That play is set up by Sam Anderson. He's trapped with the he's trapped with the ball, two defenders. He wrestles it free from both of them, gets some space, and feeds it into Jackson, who's got a great matchup there inside on Austin Gernot. Vidal Jackson to step to the line to shoot a free throw. Pretty good free throw shooter for the Lakes this season. Vidal shoots, and it's no off. good. Two really good free throw shooters today are Vidal Jackson and Kyle Hope. Not really, I mean, you can't say the same thing for Vidal. It's his first free throw, but Kyle Hope has not shot well from the line. Hope is five for eight so far. Great drive by two Zach points, Leach, right around two. the defender and put it in. Unfortunately, he got Jimmy Harvey on him. Jimmy Harvey does not have the quickness to stand for the Zach Leach. Nathan Shelton has checked into the game, so Great Lakes' his lineup is 21 through 25. Harvey, Colton, Jackson, Shelton, and Bentley. This is Shelton on the ball now. 18 to shoot, working on Bussy. Gives it to Colton. Bentley in the high post. Back to Colton, drives. Tried to kick it out to Harvey, but the ball is lost. Coming the other way now. 6 and 12 to go in the second. Lakes up one. Leach tries to drive, working on Colton. Gets free underneath, gives it to Hoke. Two and Kuiper go back in front. Kyle Hoke. It's a one point game with six minutes to go. Colton brings it up over the timeline. Gives it to Shelton. 
Loses his dribble, feeds inside to Harvey, who's able to corral it. Harvey kicks it all the way back out to Jackson. Wants three. No good off the front rim. Rebound. Bentley, the putback is good. What a bucket. Tommy Bentley has been absolutely outstanding underneath for the Lakes. And the Lakes are back up in front. 71-70, 5-25 to go here in the second. This is Singh. Leach feeds it down low. Duvall working on Harvey, goes up and under, misses, rebound, Colton. Colton brings it the other way, over the timeline. Loses it, coming the other way now. This is Bussy working on Harvey, puts it up off the glass and in. Two points for number 11. And Kuiper take the lead Kobe back. Pussy. And that's Five to go. by Sean Colton right there. He's got to hang on to the ball. A turnover in that situation forces a run out. Shelton in the corner. Dribbling around, feeds inside to Harvey. Turn around at the free throw line, gives it to Jackson, who loses it. Coming the other way now is Duvall. Three on two for Kuiper. Bussy goes up, and Harvey says no, but he fouls him. That's his fourth. Foul on 21 White, his fourth team, teammate. It's so a 72-71, Kuiper lead 440 to go here in the second. On the free throw line, shooting two is Kobe Bussey. 440 to go, 72-71. First free throw is good. Misses the second, rebound Jackson, last touch off of Duvall and it will be Great Lakes ball. Danny Bugro has to get the bots out there. Just didn't bots him out and just got moved out. Buigar in the game for the first time. Rutledge, Buigar, Bentley, Shelton, and Jackson. This is Shelton to Buigar in the Inside to Shelton for two, in and out. Good look and a good feed, but the shot was no good. Duvall with the board, plays this one ahead. Now this is Singh trying to drive. And they're going to get a block on Buigar. He moved. Unfortunate for Buigar. He tried to stand his ground there, shuffled just a little bit. And that will put Singh on the free throw line for Kuiper. Follow number 15, Danny, his first team night. Kevin Singh, sorry, Kevin Singh go to the line to shoot two. First free throw from Singh is good. Singh not been all that busy tonight. He only has six points. Leads this team in assists per game coming in with 3.6. So Nathan Shelton checks out of the game. Colton is in now. Singh's second free throw is good. Kuiper up four, four and 15 to go here in the second. Rutledge gives it to Bentley. Kuiper still in that 2-3 zone. Buigar, Rutledge. Gives it to Bentley. Four minutes left in the second. Bentley picks up his dribble, gives it to Rutledge. You couldn't haul it in. That's a turnover, it'll be Kuiper basketball. Singh, long inbound, Bussy to Leach. Leach tries to go around Buigar, stops, kicks it back to Bussy. Being defended by Buigar, inside to Hoke, turnaround jumper is good. Two points for number 34, Kyle Hoke. Lakes down six, they need a bucket. And John Piercefield calls time timeout. Out. Three thirty-eight to go here in the second. Great Lakes has to do a better job offensively right now. Just not doing a good job. 
And the difference in this half has to be, I mean, rebounding and shooting. Great Lake shot so well in the first half. They rebound so well, and they aren't doing those things right now. And, that, and that's something Great Lakes, if Great Lakes cannot down a few shots and get a few stops, they'll be right back in this game, and they have to do a better job of shooting the ball. The Lakes scored 50 points in the first half, only, only 21 in the second. David Parks checks into the game. So Parks, Jackson, Colton, Buigar, Rutledge. Parks will inbound to Rutledge. Rutledge running the point. Parks. Colton in the corner. Jackson being defended by Leach. Gives it to Rutledge. 17 to shoot. Rutledge gives it back to Jackson. Jackson being defended by Singh, 12 to shoot. Back to Parks, all the way across. Rutledge tries to drive, puts up a floater off the glass, and in. Two points for Sean Rutledge. Good bucket for Rutledge, he's got 11. Lakes down four, 3.05 to go here in the second. That's a big basket for Great Lakes. Duvall gives it to Leach, back to Singh. Under three to go in the second. Singh tries to drive on Parks, almost loses it. Gives it back to Bussey. Inside, Hoke being defended by Jackson. Puts up a floater and knocks it down. Two points for Kyle Hoke. Tough shot, but he got it to fall. And it's 79-73 with 2 and 40 to go in the second. Colton gives it to Parks. Back across to Jackson. Rutledge in the corner. Oh, he slipped, lost the ball. Loose ball going to be picked up by Rutledge. Good save. 12 to shoot now. Rutledge working on uh, working on Leach gives it to Jackson for three and he got it. For Vidal Jackson. What a bucket. Get this money. Coming up on two minutes to play and the Lakes now trail by three. That was a huge basket for Vidal Jackson. Big shot. And, and so now Great Lakes needs to stop. Sing to Bussy. Two minutes to go in the second. Lakes down 79-76. Bussy to Leach. Eight to shoot. Leach working on Buigar into the corner. Singh tries to drive, spins, being defended, gives it to Hoke. One to shoot, puts it up, in and out. Rebound, Colton, great defense from the Lakes. They need a bucket now. Colton, Jackson, three to tie, no good. Rebound picked up by Duvall coming the other way. He'll hold up, and timeout's called by Kuiper. What a bucket that would have Full been. Full time out, Kuiper College. You don't fall for Dell for taking that look. It was a good look. He just knocked down one, and you needed another one, and, he, and that's what he's here for, and he's just not able to make it. Well, he made the first one. And there's still a lot of time left. A minute and 28 seconds. 79-76, Kuiper's up, and Great Lakes right now just needs to stop and, and to play, play good defense and get a good look. They got one good look, but they was unable to knock it down. They just need another one, and so we get, it's a lot of time left, as my partner said. This game, not over, by, this game not over by any means. The Lakes did just get a great 35-second defensive stop and a rebound on the first miss. And Kyle Hokes, I mean, what can you say about him? He's coming at averaging 20. He's averaging 22 a game. He's a 28 today. And he's played well. Played hard, played aggressive, and he's got 28. Bussy inbounds to Leach. to Singh. Singh working on Parks. Gives it back to Leach. 20 to shoot. Leach being defended by Buigar. Leach goes around now being defended by Parks. Gets around Parks. Brings it up. Loses the ball on the way up. It'll stay down here. Last touch by Buigar. Shot 
Shelton will check in for Buigar now. 12 to shoot. Inbound, Hoke. Working on Parks, gives it to Sing. Three in the corner. No good. Rebound picked up by Hoke, and the putback's Two good. For Kyle Hoke. Uncontested rebound for Hoke. Less than a minute to go. Lake's down five. Colton brings it up over the timeline. Colton tries to drive, goes up off the glass. No good. Can't get his own rebound. Sing gets the board, and he's going to be fouled. Foul They're going to get Colton. 22. Double bonus. This first team, 10. So now Zach Leach will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Kuiper in the double bonus. We got a violation on Kuiper, so now Zach Leach is only going to get one free throw instead of two. Okay then. First and only free throw from Leach is good. Let's save the Lakes a point probably. Six point game, Colton over the timeline. Puts it on the floor, gives it to Jackson. Jackson, corner, Shelton for three. Yes! Three for Nathan Shelton! Big bucket for Shelton! And we have a whistle. And they're going to put 35 seconds on the game clock. Inbound to Sing. Brings it up. Try to play defense and oh, Colton poked it out but almost kept it. Inbound, loose ball goes out into Kuiper's bench. Inbound to Hoke, and Hoke will be fouled. You had to foul at some point. You had to foul. That's going to be on Tommy Bentley, his second. You did have to commit a foul at some point. His first. I, I don't agree, Double partner. There's, there's 28 seconds on the clock. 29 seconds in the game, you play defense, you do not need to foul there. Even if, if you force them to miss. Which he did. Kyle Hoke just missed the first. You force them to miss the shot. You force them to miss the shot. You get the ball with one second with a chance to tie the game. Second free throw from Hoke is good. That, that's a free point for Kyle Hoke. He missed one, but it's still a free point for Kyle Hoke. Rutledge, Colton, puts up three. No good off the front rim. Rebound, Duvall. He'll be fouled by Parks. 19 seconds. Left in the second. Foul on 30 white. Double bonus. So Great Lakes need to find a way to get a couple of possessions out of these last 19 seconds and hope that Kuiper are not good at shooting free throws down the stretch. First free throw for Duvall's no good. Kuiper helping Great Lakes out right there. Second free throw from Duvall is also no good. Parks to Rutledge. 19 seconds, clock hasn't started. And they're gonna blow it dead because the clock didn't start. So they're gonna set the clock to 18.6 seconds and inbound from the midcourt line. Lakes down 83. 79, John Piercefield calls timeout. Call well, this has been exciting. Full timeout by Great Lakes and update in the college basketball world with seven minutes to go. Undefeated Kentucky is losing to LSU 66 to 60. Okay then. Well, thank you for the update. For those of you who care at home, not sure if you actually care, but sounded good. Update here though, 18.6 seconds to go. 79-83, Great Lakes right now needing to drop a good play, get a good shot, and then foul. Well, Great Lakes are in a position now where they can score three 
foul, give up two, score another three, go to overtime. So Great Lakes, to some degree, control their own destiny if they can create two good shots in these last 19 seconds and make them both. And let's give Great Lakes some pressure, let's give some, some kudos for the fact Sean Rutledge, Nathan Shelton, Danny Bugler has done a great job of making Kuiper in ball to, ball to somebody other than Zach Leach. Yep. Zach Leach trying to get the ball, dribble the clock off, and Great Lakes has done a phenomenal job of not letting Zach get the ball. Well, here we go. Parks, Shelton, Rutledge, Colton, and Jackson on the floor. Parks will inbound. Get, oh, Wanda Colton. Oh, man, Leach almost picked up, but Colton's got the ball. Colton, the corner, Rutledge, three. No good off the front rim. Rebound will bounce off the rim. And out, it will be Kuiper's ball. That's a good look from Rutledge. He just couldn't cash in. With 10 seconds to go, Kuiper will inbound the ball. Bussy, long inbound into Hoke. He'll be fouled by Parks with eight seconds left. Well, the Lakes got their good shot. They got the good shot they needed. Rutledge not able to knock it down. The shot you wanted, Parks. That was close. It was a shot you wanted, just didn't knock it down. First free throw from Hoke is good. So the Lakes are still going to need two possessions. I don't know if they have enough time to get those two possessions in with 8.2 seconds left on the clock. Hoke's second free throw is good. Six point game. Parks will inbound to Rutledge. He'll let it roll. He'll pick it up now. Seven seconds. Dribbles, drives, kick out. Shelton for three with three seconds left. No good, and that's the game. Kuiper will escape. It was touch and go there for a bit. Great Lakes almost had this one. But that will be little consolation to them now. They will fall short against Kuiper, 85 to 79. Great Lakes played one of their best halves of basketball in the first half, but in the second half simply didn't score enough. Only able to score 29 in the second half. And, and they I couldn't keep Kuiper from uh, putting up the big buckets when they needed to get stops. And that's important. And I mean, in the second half, Great Lakes just didn't shoot the ball well at all. And I mean, I think David probably was over four in the second half, unfortunately. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. This is the Great Lakes Christian College Television Network. Welcome back to the Doty Center. Kuiper College just escaped 85-79 over Great Lakes here. It's a great game and Great Lakes not able to come out with the W. Great Lakes played hard, shot the ball well in the first half, didn't shoot the ball nearly as well in the second half. Oh. I mean, you're up by 11. Great Lakes simply just needed to score. You lose by six, they simply just needed to score 38 points and a half. You only scored 29, there's not much you can do in one half. And, and I don't know how much of it in the second half was Kuiper's defense. More of it, I think, in my opinion, I don't know if you agree, Great Lakes just didn't shoot the ball well. Great Lakes didn't shoot the ball as well in the second half. They didn't defend as well in the second half either. Um, they, Kuiper they, got some big baskets when they needed them. The Lakes got a couple of stops, kept themselves in it. But the key element, a couple of open looks down the stretch that they didn't hit. 